At 93 years old, Dan Matia Dwarka has some aches and pains. But apart from that, she's relatively healthy. And if you tell her she looks good for her age, she will compare herself to her sister in Maruga, who is 102. She's not sick. She have no pain. She have nothing. She tell me she have no complaint. The world she was born into is no longer around, and she witnessed it change before her piercing eyes, all while working the land. I work very hard in the garden. I used to plant five acres at Tanya. One acre cassava, one acre edus, and then I used to plant um, all the different little, little things then. But her story almost came to an end in January after she was diagnosed with COVID-19. Her symptoms would have her clinging to life and at times delirious, wandering the road, asking for loved ones who long passed. Being unvaccinated, she's defied the odds. Of the 3,600 COVID-19 deaths in the country, at least 63% were those over 60 years old. She believes she survived because of the good karma she amassed in her lifetime. Thank God I used to help. I help people. And today that is the reason why I get the money to help. She was treated at home by a private doctor. Her grandchildren did not want her going to hospital after her 70-year-old daughter, Kamala Dwarka, died from the disease just days prior at the Augustus Long Hospital. They say they were dissatisfied with the hospital's treatment of the family. But to her, it was more than losing her daughter. With Kamala's passing, she's now outlived all six of her children and husband. I didn't know I will live longer than my children, and I don't know what it is wrong. I try my best to do my best for my children and take care of them and everything, but I don't know what it is wrong. But unfortunately, after enduring all this, 93-year-old Dan Matias says she's not looking forward to life without her loved ones at her side. Rashad Khan, CNC3 News.